How to end your dependence on other people. Introduction Independence is a fundamental aspect of personal growth and well-being. It allows individuals to make their own decisions, pursue their dreams, and build self-esteem. While human beings are inherently social creatures, excessive dependence on others can hinder personal development and autonomy. It is essential to strike a balance between interdependence and self-reliance. This essay explores the reasons for dependence on others, the potential negative consequences, and practical steps to end this dependency and foster self-sufficiency. Understanding Dependence on Others Dependence on others can manifest in various ways, from financial reliance on a partner or family member to emotional dependency where an individual relies on others for their self-esteem, happiness, and emotional well-being. Understanding the reasons behind dependence is crucial to addressing the issue effectively. 1. Psychological Factors Some individuals become dependent on others due to underlying psychological issues. Low self-esteem, anxiety, or a fear of failure may lead people to rely on others for constant reassurance and support. 2. Social norms and expectations Societal norms and cultural expectations can encourage dependence, particularly in certain family structures or traditional gender roles. These expectations may limit individuals' opportunities to become self-reliant. 3. Financial dependence Financial reliance is another common form of dependency. Many people depend on family members, partners, or government assistance for financial stability, making it challenging to break free from such dependence. 4. Fear of Loneliness The fear of loneliness can lead individuals to cling to others, even if these relationships are not healthy or supportive. Loneliness can be a powerful motivator for dependence. 5. Lack of Skills or Knowledge Some people may lack essential life skills or knowledge, making them rely on others for daily tasks or decision-making. Negative Consequences of Dependence While dependence on others may provide short-term comfort and support, it often comes with significant long-term drawbacks. Some of the negative consequences of excessive dependency include 1. Limited personal growth. Relying on others inhibits personal growth and self-discovery. It can prevent individuals from developing the skills and experiences needed to become self-sufficient. 2. Reduced self-esteem. Dependence can erode an individual's self-esteem as they may perceive themselves as incapable of handling life's challenges independently. 3. Strained relationships. Over-reliance on others can strain relationships. Constant demands for support or attention may push loved ones away and create tension in friendships or family dynamics. 4. Loss of autonomy. Dependence means surrendering control over one's life. This loss of autonomy can be deeply unsatisfying and disempowering. 5. Vulnerability. When an individual depends heavily on others, they become vulnerable to exploitation and manipulation.
It can be challenging to protect one's interests and well-being in such circumstances. Practical Steps to End Dependence on Others Ending dependence on others is a transformative journey that requires time, effort, and dedication. It involves developing self-reliance, self-confidence, and self-sufficiency. The following steps can help individuals reduce their reliance on others and build a more independent life. 1. Self-awareness. The first step towards ending dependence on others is self-awareness. Understanding the root causes of dependency is essential to addressing the issue effectively. Self-reflection and introspection can help identify the areas in which one relies on others and why. It is crucial to be honest with oneself and acknowledge the factors contributing to dependence. 2. Set Clear Goals Setting clear, achievable goals is an important part of becoming more independent. Identify specific areas where you want to reduce your reliance on others, whether it's financial stability, emotional support, or decision-making. Having defined objectives can provide motivation and direction. 3. Develop life skills. One of the key aspects of self-reliance is developing a wide range of life skills. This includes financial literacy, cooking, cleaning, time management, and problem solving. Learning these skills can help individuals become more self-sufficient in their daily lives. 4. Seek professional help. If psychological issues or emotional dependency are at the core of your reliance on others, it may be beneficial to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors can provide the necessary support and strategies to address these underlying issues and work towards greater emotional independence. 5. Build a supportive network. While the goal is to reduce dependence on any one person, it's essential to build a supportive network of friends and acquaintances. These individuals can provide guidance, advice, and emotional support as you work towards self-reliance. A strong support system can be invaluable during the transition. 6. Take financial responsibility. Financial dependence is a common form of reliance on others. To become more financially independent, create a budget, save money, and seek employment or other sources of income. Reducing financial reliance on others can significantly enhance your autonomy. 7. Enhance decision-making skills. Making decisions is a critical component of personal autonomy. Practice making decisions, both big and small, and learn from the outcomes. Developing good decision-making skills will boost your self-confidence and self-reliance. 8. Learn from failure. Failure is a natural part of personal growth and self-reliance. Embrace failure as an opportunity to learn and grow. Instead of seeing it as a setback, view it as a valuable experience that can lead to future success. 9. Embrace solitude. Overcoming the fear of loneliness is a crucial step in ending dependence on others. Spend time alone, engage in solitary activities, and learn to enjoy your own company. Solitude can foster self-discovery and self-acceptance. 10. Set healthy boundaries. 
Establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries in relationships is vital. It ensures that your relationships are based on mutual respect and support rather than enabling dependence. Communicate your boundaries clearly and assertively. 11. Maintain a positive mindset. A positive mindset is essential for personal growth and independence. Challenge negative self-talk and replace it with self-affirming beliefs. Surround yourself with positive influences and practice gratitude. 12. Take gradual steps. Breaking free from dependence on others is a gradual process. It may involve taking small steps initially and gradually increasing your self-reliance over time. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Conclusion Ending dependence on others is a journey that requires self-awareness, effort, and perseverance. It is not a process that happens overnight, but the rewards are well worth the investment. Achieving self-reliance can lead to increased self-esteem, personal growth, and a sense of empowerment. By understanding the root causes of dependence, setting clear goals, developing life skills, seeking support when needed, and embracing independence gradually, individuals can take significant steps toward reducing their reliance on others and building a more fulfilling and autonomous life. The path to self-reliance may be challenging, but it offers the promise of greater freedom and personal fulfillment. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.